Bluebird 198, one localizer established, to send Alice. Bluebird 198, could you give me a wind check, please? Welcome aboard, flight 304. We've just departed Toronto for Washington, D.C. And uh, again, out of Toronto, we did the Leicester 7 departure, which is uh, pretty straightforward. It's uh, heading 237 to over 1.60 me off the Toronto VOR, then a slight left turn to heading 235, and we climbed and maintained uh, 5,000. And then uh, they gave us a, a higher um, altitude uh, as soon as we were passing through about 4,000. So, direct Keating. Direct Keating. Echo Tango Golf. Okay, activate. All right. There. Activate, yep. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, after the Leicester 7, they give you a left turn, uh, direct uh, the bulge intersection, and then, uh, then you pick up uh, the airway down uh, uh, on the flight plan. So we're now passing uh, through 26.6, uh, leveling off at flight level 270, and our cruise mock today is mock uh, decimal uh, 57. Just picked up the ATIS uh, for Washington, D.C., and it's a gorgeous day down there, 10 miles visibility, a little hazy, um, and then the winds out of the north, and they're landing on uh, runway one, and the approach will be the Mount Vernon visual for uh, runway number one. So it's a, it's a nice approach in there. We'll be um, flying, uh, uh, the downwind takes us very close to Andrews Air Force Base, and just on the uh, east side of uh, the downtown core of Washington, then we turn in. Uh, and then we pick up the river and fly the visual in onto our runway number one. So, uh, beautiful day down there and uh, expecting a nice rides up here as well uh, for the remainder of the flight. So, I hope you enjoyed the departure out of Toronto and we'll be arriving in Washington in uh, just less than an hour. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick overview of the Washington airspace. Um, this is a chart of the Class B airspace in Washington. So we're going to be coming uh, down here um, towards uh, Baltimore. We're going to cross over the Baltimore uh, VOR. And then the routing, the arrival, will take us uh, to the southwest here, and we'll pass between Washington and Andrews. Uh, that's Andrews Air Force Base, home of Air Force One. So it's so as you uh, do the arrival here, uh, once we get into, uh, around Washington, D.C., there's quite a bit of uh, restricted airspace. So we have to uh, be very careful uh, to, respe to respect that restricted airspace and not enter it. On the arrival into Washington, we'll be coming in over uh, Phillipsburg, then Shiloh. Skills, we'll expect to cross skills at uh, 210 knots. And then uh, Baltimore, we can expect it at 10,000 feet at 250 knots. Then Eyes, Brunk, Felty, High Tech, Cavity. Um, and then uh, from Cavity, they're going to give us a vector, a turn to pick up the river. And then we'll call the river visual. And we fly the uh, uh, we fly up uh, the uh, Pontiac River uh, uh, visually and, uh, and land on uh, zero 01. So that's the, uh, the gist of the Mount Vernon visual. Here's the chart for it. So the Mount Vernon visual, Cavity is down here, and then we'll turn in, we'll pick up the river, and then fly northbound along the, the uh, Pontiac River. At, uh, we're aiming for 5.6 DME uh, to be at about 1,600 feet, and then inside the bridge, around the bridge will be around 1,000 feet, and then we, then we pick up runway one, and we, uh, then we land on one. So pretty straightforward uh, for missed approach. There is no procedure that's ATC issued. If we do miss, uh, we have to respect. There's a there's a P56 here, um, and then there's a restricted airspace on this side, just uh, just north of where the chart here is. Uh, so we just have, we usually just pick up the river and uh, fly to the northwest. So so it's straightforward um, arrival into Washington. We'll have uh, pretty scenic uh, views today. Should be quite nice down there. So. We'll now uh, brief the approach uh, and the arrival, and we'll be entering uh, the speeds in the FMS and programming everything up uh, for our landing. So, cord.
First thing would be full flap. Okay. So numbers for 28 ton at full flap, Jeff, you got them. 14, 19, 28, and 75. So I'll just cross check. 14, 19, 28, 75, perfect. Okay, you'll now brief uh, the approach, uh, the arrival and the approach. This is the Skills 1 RNAV arrival, 10-2 Echo, 14th of Feb 08. Transition 180 MSA 2600 feet. It's going to be Phillipsburg, Shiloh, Skills expected at 12,000, Baltimore expect that at 10,250 knots. Eyes, Brunk, Felty, High Tech, Cavity. Heading 185 are vectors for the, for the Mount Vernon Visual uh, Runway 1. This is the Mount Vernon Visual Runway 1. The visual approach, northbound along uh, the Potnack River. MSA, uh, sorry, uh, the, the final approach course is following the river. There's no FAF. MSA 2600. Um, Required uh, ceiling visibility is 3,000 feet, four miles. Uh, monitor announced approaching minimums and minimums. I'll call landing go around flap. In the event of a missed approach, uh, it's ATC issued. We'll set the barrel minimums to 520 for a visual approach. Five twenty. Five twenty. I will monitor announce approaching minimums at minimums. Okay, flap full, wheel brakes reverse as required, and we'll be uh, clearing uh, the runway uh, probably at uh, Mike or November one, and then we'll. Uh, we get ground and we tag and we park down on the uh, west side of the banjo there. Okay. So we'll no follow, MELs. Sorry. We'll follow like Juliet or Kilo basically all the way around to Papa. Yeah, typically uh, they'll taxi. Typically they'll taxi us Juliet to pick up Papa, but they might give you Kilo. Okay. All right. Um, no MELs affecting the arrival, no no TAMs uh, that affect that visual approach. And the uh, fuel, 1.2 bingo fuel for Dulles. Okay. Any questions? No questions, Jeff. Okay. After Phillipsburg, clear direct Baltimore, Canada 304. Yeah, I'll throw that in. Phillipsburg, then Baltimore. Okay. okay. We'll be landing on runway 01 for Washington. Uh, this is uh, Reagan National. This is the, the uh, ground, uh, the taxiway chart. So we'll be landing on one. So we'll be coming up from the from the south, landing on runway one. Probably clear Mike or November one. See how the uh, the landing is in the braking. And then when we clear the runway, you basically you almost clear onto the apron. It, it's uh, tough to differentiate. Um, and then uh, we'll be taxing down either Juliet or Kilo, probably Juliet, to pick up Papa, and then we park down here on the banjo. So uh, I'm just around the corner here. So uh, Mike or November 1, Juliet, Papa, transition to the apron to uh, the banjo. So that's where we park. Across Baltimore, Adder maintain uh, 10,000. 10, November 6, 1, 8, 8, 10, 8, 8, 8, set 8, 8, for Baltimore, and I already had it set up. Roger. 10,000 set. Path. <laughs> Ask him if he's going to want 250 knots at Baltimore because we were keeping up our speed. He's going to want uh, 250 knots at Baltimore for Canada 304. Echo Tell, thank you. Two Echo. Canada 304, approach Sean, uh, 119.85. Uh, 1985 at Canada 304. Uh, Wisconsin uh, 2031, uh, crushing up. At Lieutenant OJ with Victor. Stop the 30, 62, Potomac approach, Roger. Afternoon approach, Canada 304, with you just leveling 10,000. Air Canada 304, Potomac approach, Roger. Fast belt lights are on, landing lights are on, landing data of arrival. 
ILS 01, Brickyard via the skills. 6,000, Brickyard 3142. And still speeds for 28. Halt. Brickyard 3142, turn left heading 090. Left 090, Brickyard 3142. We do 210 trick again. Yeah, Washington, they like to uh, to uh, slam dunk you a bit. So I tend to like to set it up so, you know, dissipate some of the energy in this turn and then you're, then you're in good shape for a descent and to, uh, for the right base. Cleared Mount Vernon Visual, one approach. Mount Vernon Visual, one, Brickyard 3142. When they ask, you can call the river in sight. Okay. Brickyard 3142, contact Washington Tower, 119.1, good day. There's two of them. Look at that apron. Brickyard 3295, descend to maintain 6,000. Descend to maintain 6,000, Brickyard 3295. There's Air Force One, Udo. Cool. Very cool. Call the river. Call the river. Approach complete 40. Call the river. Yeah. Heading 230 down to 2000. Okay, all the pilots coming off. Okay. Autopilot. Autopilot. River and throttle. Roger. Turn right heading 270. I'll have the clearance for you in just a moment. Heading 270 or Canada 304. Set heading 270, please. And flight director's off. Activate vectors and flap one. Cactus 2031, descend to maintain 4,000. 4,000, Cactus 2031. Air Canada 304 is cleared, Mount Vernon Visual, runway one approach. Contact Washington Tower, 119.1, good day. 1914 is cleared, the uh, Mount Vernon Visual approach 01, or Canada 304. Chicago 3062. And flap two, please. Speed checked. And we'll leave 2,000 set for the mist. Okay. Tower of Canada 304 with the clear Mount Vernon visual uh, runway one. Canada 304, Washington oh. Tower, runway. Can you lay in 33, then went 34010. You want 33, Jeff? We can accept the three. Uh, actually, no, take the one. Take runway Negative. one. Negative, we'd like to stick with one if we can, please. I could lay in runway one at Canada 304. Cleared to land one or Canada three. Okay, thirty one forty two. Cabin alerted. Right. Alternators three zero two six inches. Three zero uh, two six Look. inches. Set Gear twice. lever down three green. Lever down three green. Icast is checked. Landing checklist complete. Roger. Set speed one fifty. Flap three, please. Speed checked. Speed one fifty. Flap 5, please. Set speed 140. Set speed VF. Speed check. 1737 to follow the company. Approaching yeah. minimums. Roger. Traffic. Traffic. Minimums. Runway in sight. Landing. Drive it to helicopter. Yeah, we're by. And we're clear to land? We are clear to land. All the lights, please. Circle 2, clear to land on 33 each step. Two hundred. That's thirty-seven forty. Looks like your sequence would be the RJ on Juliet. Thirty-seven forty. Talk to thirty sixty-two helicopter traffic just past the airport on the right bank, opposite direction, maintaining okay. visual with you. Fifty. Thirty sixty-two. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Twenty. Ten. Twenty-one seventy. Line up and wait. Runway one. Reverse green. 70. Got Mike. Canada 304 on Mike, Mike. Turn left at uh, Mike, wrap with him. 217 on Mike, you're Canada 304. After landing procedure, please. Sure. 
Vickers 2170, runway one, click takeoff. Take off, runway stays on, on, I believe. Accepting 37, line up away, runway one, can you follow the company bus, please? This aircraft, whiskey current wash on 73029. Okay. Air Canada 304, wash around Juliet Papa to parking. Juliet Papa for the Banjo Air Canada 304. Juliet Papa, Jeff. Roger.
So welcome to Washington uh, DCA Reagan National Airport. Uh, beautiful day here. It's, um, it's always nice doing a, a hand-flown visual approach, picking up the river there and, uh, and flying in. Now during the approach we were offered a, a sidestep, a visual circle for runway 33 that I did not accept. And the reason I did not accept is that we did not brief it. Um, nor did I take a look at the, uh, the landing distance available and the runway information on that runway. And it's just too late in the game to, to make a decision uh, like that uh, uh, that uh, can compromise safety unless it's been previously briefed. So we made the decision to, to stick to runway 01 and we were cleared immediately to land and uh, there was no further issues. So um, Gord did a great job uh, and assisted me to get the aircraft here into Washington and it was a nice flight. So hope uh, everyone enjoyed that approach and, uh, and the landing and the arrival and we'll be departing shortly for Toronto. Thank you.